I'm John Keogh and with my wife Annie we're managing this property here called Yarra Glen just east of Holbrook. Three years ago as part of the Holbrook Land Care Group a group of farmers got together to set up a producer demonstration site. Some of the questions that we wanted to ask were you know does rotational grazing increase productivity, does it increase stocking rate and does it affect pasture composition. The idea was to put in some fence lines divided into three so we could increase the grazing pressure on the southerly side and uh, reduce the overgrazing on the northwest side. By using the pasture that, that wasn't being grazed, um, we've had an immediate effect because we're, we're growing more grass and the grass is of high quality. But we're also over time improving you know, pasture composition. What I've noticed about pasture composition so far since we've fenced off these blocks is that clover has been a real winner. We've We've got a better clover stand over on the southern side since we've been grazing it much better. And we haven't got as many bare patches on the northwestern side, or very little bare patches on the northwestern side now since we've been grazing. So clover's been a real winner in the whole, whole operation, and I've certainly noticed a strength in the clover. Well, we would expect you know, clover density to increase, although that will go up and down over the years and in between a range, but we'd also expect um, annual grasses to decrease and phalaris to increase. And that was that happened and that was really exciting because we, we found that, or well, we were hoping that then the clover would actually put more nitrogen in the soil and that would drive grass growth even further. And this time around it would be quality grass because it was being grazed optimally. And those are the other things we're measuring. Clover density over time, phalaris basal density over time, and annual grass composition. Phalaris to us is really, really important in this system. It's, it's probably your most critical species by far. I suppose a lot of people would say clover is, and I suppose we've all got so used to clover and we're, we're pretty comfortable knowing that whenever we walk out the door we can see clover. Phalaris is a little bit different in that depending on the season, depending on how it's been treated, etc., etc., we can sometimes struggle with seeing our phalaris plants. And so yes, I think phalaris is very, very important to our system. Okay, Tim, well, how much phalaris have we got here, do you think? No, I reckon it's about five or 10%. You know, I do put my hand down and I reckon, you know, there's nine hands, 10 hands in that. So I'd say that's about 10%. 10%. In terms of the phalaris, I'd say the jury's out completely. I'd certainly be reserving my decision more till we have another look. But I think I was expecting a better Phalaris composition than we have got. Or maybe that there was more tillering on the Phalaris plants. The critical thing will be to let those Phalaris plants go to head and um, to get more strength into Phalaris, which is what my aim is. Mm -hmm.